Um, I would like to refer to Exhibit M, which is an email dated September 4. September 4th of 2003. Of 2003. Okay. In an email dated September 4th, 2003, did you not state on the separation agreement we're going to put your house as an exclusive residence and the Calgary home as my exclusive residence? As long as we're separated, you'll be the sole resident of the Medicine Hat home. For Exhibit N, my uh, answer to uh, Mrs. Sales' first question was uh, was actually right, but uh, I was actually in an ambush state of mind because I was just served those exhibits that could not be adduced, and they weren't within the trial parameters because they do not uh, track or trace funds of however er, ever many homes that the parties bought and where it all went. And uh, anyways, the proper answer that I could have given to her first answer was. Uh, was yes, I did state this, but for the record, Mrs. Uh, uh, Miss Actum, you have only read a small sliver of information from the email, from this email, and having only what you have read is destructive to my case. So I will read it. I'll, I will read more of it. I will read the first two paragraphs of this email uh, for the record, and then give a response. So here I go. Dear Miss Actum, on separate on the on the separation agreement, we're going to put your home up as the, as the exclusive residence and the Calgary home as my exclusive residence. I feel that the title transfers should and will be made by the court when one of us apply for a divorce request after July 23rd, 2004. As long as we are separated, you'll be the sole resident of the uh, Medicine Hat home. I I need to admit because of my medication for MS that I, I stopped using 16 days ago and made my made and made myself emotionally and mentally unstable. Todd said wait for a year and discuss this with with uh, family court and let uh, them decide what's fair for, for you, Kayla and myself. You will get the uh, $3,000 uh, what I see is unfair is that on the uh, primary matrimonial home in Medicine Hat is that we paid off uh, 13 uh, that we paid that, that will be paid off in a 13 year 13 years at $333 every two weeks and the Calgary home is uh, is paid at uh, $562 every month over 25 years we had already agreed to put forty-five thousand dollars. The deposit on that, we will. Uh, I will not hold you accountable for it. The mortgage at, at, at time frame payout is what's unfair, and also for the fact that Jim Markley lent us eight thousand dollars to pay off Mastercard, so we could buy the Calgary home. Miss Actum, this w was a proposition that you did not accept, and I will get more into it during the argument stages of this trial. That's the end of my proper answer. And I was too ambushed and confused to get into this in the later uh, aspects of my trial. So that's pretty much, if I could have answered properly like that, then I probably wouldn't have had all those other questions thrown at me. So we'll, uh, we'll get into uh, the rest of it. And uh, so we'll continue on with it with the cross-examination of the whole entire of exhibit in it until it starts to go with exhibit uh, O. Um, I would like to refer to exhibit N, which is an email dated September 4. September 4th of 2003. In okay. an email dated September 4th, 2003, did you not state on the separation agreement, we're going to put your house as an exclusive residence and the Calgary home as my exclusive residence. As long as we're separated, you'll be the sole resident of the Medicine Hat home. I don't have the, uh, the computer. I don't, you know, I don't know if this is... Do you have a copy of Exhibit M? I do have a copy of Exhibit okay. Next is Exhibit 
Sorry, did you say yes to that, Mr. Acton? This is your letter? This is uh, my letter. I, you know, I don't have it on my computer. My computer blew up, and I don't know if it's my letter or not. It says right here it is. And uh, if I wrote that letter, then it was during the time when I was being little by MS, and, and uh, I wasn't thinking straight. Okay. Okay, exhibit your next question, Ms. Acton. Um, actually, just in reference to a comment that you had made, Ed, you state that this is when you were riddled with MS, but earlier you had claimed that your MS attack began on October 21st. Yes. Yeah. Okay, until yeah. the end of October 21st of 2003. So this is prior to. Yeah, MS started really just before then. It didn't riddle me significantly until then. I could actually walk before then, even before then, even in the right foot home. I had, I had a hard time. I was two stepping up, up the staircases and I had a hard time walking. Okay. Um, really. we'll, we'll go on to the next exhibit, which is exhibit O. 